No National Football League player in the 1950s was immune to bone-jarring contact with the Philadelphia Eagles, Chuck Bednarik because the 233-pounder played on both the offensive and defensive units long after the two-way player had largely faded from the scene. Bednarik didn't really get into football until he returned from World War II after a 30-mission tour as a B-24 waste gunner with the Army Air Corps that saw him win the Air Medal. He showed up unheralded at the University of Pennsylvania, where he went on to win All-America honors as a center his last two seasons. Chuck was selected first overall in the 1949 NFL draft as the Eagles' bonus draft choice and earned a starter's spot as a center on offense and linebacker on defense. As an offensive center, Big Chuck was a bulldozing blocker, both on rushing and passing plays. On defense, he was a true scientist in his field and the kind of tackler who could literally stop even the finest enemy runners on a dime. In 1950, Bednarik received all NFL recognition as a center. Although he frequently played both offense and defense right up through the 1956 season, it was as a bone-jarring linebacker that he drew the most attention. He was named All-NFL as a linebacker 1951 through 1957 and again in 1960. His athletic abilities and inspirational play was particularly evident in 1960 when injuries forced the Eagles to ask their 12-year veteran to again play both sides of the line. The 35-year-old was sensational. He finished the campaign with a 58-minute performance, capped by a game-saving tackle in the Eagles' NFL championship victory over Green Bay. With just seconds remaining, the Packers' Jim Taylor appeared to be heading for a winning touchdown until the last eagle in his path, Bednarik, bear-hugged him to the ground as time ran out. 